I just got out of the shower and uh, I was uh, kind of teeter tottering if I wanted to do this uh, tutorial. But I think it's very important for awareness. And uh, so let's not talk too much about it. Let's get started right now. If you're new on this channel, welcome. I hope that uh, you decide to uh, hang out with me and uh, decide to subscribe because you enjoy what you're hearing from me. Uh, <laughs> you can see that there is something wrong with my lips. So I don't have any, uh, I don't have any makeup. I am very particular about oral health and uh, when I was younger, I had braces and my teeth were perfectly straight. But I noticed that uh, the last uh, four or five years, my teeth started to move and I was very upset about that. So my sister said, hey Maria, listen, I have started with Invisalign. And I said, oh, that's something that maybe I would like to start too. So I'm, I was very excited. So I go to my orthodontist and I get my Invisalign. And uh, I, 12 days ago, I put them in and uh, you know, I, it takes a little bit of time to get yourself used to how to take them in and take them out. They're not that easy at the beginning because you have your fingers in your mouth trying to uh, remove these little uh, plates. And I was very excited because I said, hey, I can do this and I can still do my tutorials and people do not even notice um that i have uh, braces on like so. anyways the experience started a couple of days ago when my lips started to swell up i i thought that maybe you know what is something new maybe there's some irritation happening inside of my mouth but you know i have a very high pain tolerance and i just left it however last night i was a little bit worried because now uh, it's been already a couple of days that I'm s swollen and my body should be getting used to, to these uh, little plastic uh, braces, but it got worse. So I decided <laughs> to send a picture to my daughter and uh, my daughter Genevieve, she's, uh, she's a nurse and a molecular biologist, so she knows a little bit. Hmm? <laughs> so uh, she goes, oh my goodness, mom, you are allergic to them. Take them out, take them out now. And I said, what? I'm going to go to sleep soon. No, no, that was last night. She goes, mom, please take them out and go and get yourself, uh, go take some antihistamine. And I said, Genevieve, I don't have that stuff. I don't have not even an aspirin. So she uh, was a little bit uh, pushy with me. And she goes, mom, go to the pharmacist and get some antihistamine. And with that, uh, I also put a hydrocortisone on my lips. And uh, so with the antihistamine in the inside and the hydrocortisone on the outside, they have gone down. I don't have the Visualign on right now. I'm going to go to my orthodontist. And, uh, but I'm not saying that these are bad. I'm just saying that before you get these ones on, that you get tested. So you don't spend all this money and the pain. This this is not good. <laughs> yeah, you can see. Yeah, that's, this is not good. This is not good. So I will keep you posted and I'll let you know what is my next step. So yes, I did go to my orthodontist and she was surprised that she have never seen this kind of a situation. And I, I guess I have to believe her. Uh, but I find uh, a little bit surprising. So my lips were so sore last night that I decided that I didn't need to do something else. Called my daughter and uh, she encouraged me because I don't take medication, I don't take stuff like this. However, she encouraged me to uh, take from uh, this one here, uh, antihistamine, which is 10 milligram, to get something stronger. Um, and I'm taking Benadryl right now, uh, 50 milligrams. And yes, it may cause drowsiness and, and I can feel a little bit, uh, not a hundred percent. Additionally, I am taking, starting this morning, uh, the day after ibuprofen from uh, Advil to uh, bring down the swellness. 
my lips are a little bit blotchy hydrocortisone on my lips I am not doing these tutorials or this specific tutorial to bring anybody down or or saying how bad 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 there are these Vesalign I am just doing it that you need to get tested to see if you are allergic to it and uh, so before you go put these things on ask your orthodontist that the possibility and which is very little that to get allergy reaction what are the percentages so you get tested I'm not sure how to do it because I'm not an orthodontist I'm not a doctor but do get tested first before you you go through the the expense and the pain so it has been already 10 days since my reaction to the Invisalign and my lips are still quite swollen and I've been taking antihistamines, ibuprofen, tons of stuff that is reacting with my body a little bit, makes me very foggy. I had a, a virtual um, appointment with my health provider, my doctor, and she's actually quite happy to see that the swellness and the swelling actually of my lips is uh, slowly coming down um, but she mentioned that I will have to still be on the strong uh, antihistamines for another maybe couple of weeks not happy about that but I have to follow that now the reason of this tutorial is not to make anybody feel that they should not have Invisalign absolutely not I find the technology is fascinating that you have all these little trays uh, tons of them uh, every couple of weeks or every week you have a different tray and slowly your teeth are moving I find that is fantastic however if you are like me the one percent that is allergic to the film or to the plastic of the Invisalign this is what could happen so what is your option well your option is to get yourself tested before or that your ortho can tell you uh, these are the one percent or the 0.5 percent that could happen that you might be allergic to the plastic so the next week please let's be really aware that's what I wanted but that was not communicated with me so I persisted in keeping my Invisalign in even though my lips were getting more and more swollen I think that this experience could have been prevented if I knew that this could have been a possibility for me to be allergic to the plastic of the Invisalign so if I would have known and have been aware maybe this would have not happened however maybe I had to go through this experience to make this a tutorial for other people of what to be aware so this experience will not happen to you I hope you enjoyed this tutorial looking at me with swollen uneven lips and uh, in the next few tutorials you will see my lips going back to normal and uh, maybe in a month down the road you will see me with uh, the white braces because I do wish to have my teeth back to normal do put comments below give me thumbs up I would love to have a, a community here so individuals can come here to find out information correct information from individuals throughout the world again if you have any comments write them down below and I will talk with you very very soon take care Pretty soon. Yeah. <laughs>